Hello everybody, this is Catholic Dad, episode number 422, War Beard. So, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm sporting a beard, and I'm actually sporting it for the first time in my life. And so, uh, my men's group, for some reason, we just started growing a beard together, a couple of us, and we decided to, you know, see how far we can go. It's kind of a manly challenge. And um, I'm doing okay. I didn't think I'd be able to do this, but um, bottom line is somebody came up to one of the men's group's uh, members the other day and said, I think you should shave your beard. It looks a little intimidating. And I immediately said, like whispered in his ear as he walks away, I said, when we're at war, we don't shave like Vikings, you know? And so, you know, we were, we were guys just being silly guys trying to grow a beard. But then somebody came up and said he was intimidating with his beard. I'm like, good. Like, that's a good thing. Like, you're like, we're doing this manly challenge and suddenly he looks a little manly. And then people are like, don't be so manly anymore. And so then I'm like, well, I'm not shaving now either. And so now we're, we're pushing it a little bit uh, further. And so anyway, I went to tu tumor board in our hospital the other day. And uh, one of the, the sisters in the hospital said, you know, Dr. Catholic Dad, I, uh, I see you're growing a beard. Why, you know, it looks good. Why are you growing the beard? I said, sister, this is my war beard. We're at war. And I said, I, I'm not shaving until the war is over. Well, anyway, <laughs> sounds kind of weird, but so anyway, so what happened this year, 2020, it's kind of weird. Uh, 2020, we had COVID crisis, right? And then we had, um, uh, you know, forced quarantine. Uh, we had people isolate themselves. We had people remove themselves from the cultures of each other. And then um, what happened after that? Well, we had our broken culture. And right now, uh, the economy is about to be in shambles. Uh, we're going to have shortages of all sorts of things, including food, I think. And I think the world is actually now going to learn what it, it, it means to suffer a little bit. And so we're at war and there's this power void right now because people like to be cared for by government or religious bodies or neighbors and whatever else. And so we're at this power struggle where there's a void and people, there's going to be a lot of people that need help. And so when there's a lot of people that need help, they either look at their neighbors if they're available, their churches if they're available, if they're members of them, or they look for government. And this is a perfect time for the forces of evil to walk in and institute a new uh, type of global tyranny. And, um, it's also a perfect time for people to start embracing their fellow citizens and their fellow man and show them how much they mean to you and how much you need them and how much they need you. Like literally start forming your communities, people. And so when I say we're at war, we're literally at uh, a precipice, I think, in this nation where either the forces of evil are coming in or the forces of good are coming in. And it's gonna take a lot of people, a lot of people that literally stand with their shoulders back and say, we're not doing this. We're not, we're not going to capitulate to the forces of evil and we will stand back shoulder to shoulder and say, I will not live by the lies you want me to live by. I, um, I'm dependent upon my fellow community members. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to help my fellow community members and I'm not going to capitulate to the new world order government tyrannical regime. Excuse me. <clears throat> so therefore, my war beard is an act of solidarity to anybody who wants to join me. And so um, I think it would I think it would be kind of cool, actually, if all the men in this nation that believe in the basic principles and foundations of freedom and liberty and that are uh, willing to oppose uh, tyranny when it comes, that you just grow a beard and you call it your war beard. It's all you got to do. And people say, what, what's the war beard about? And I'll be like, it's just a sign that I'm going to resist tyranny. That's all it is. I'm just going to stand alone. And then the more people that start wearing these things, well, then you'll start realizing, like if half the nation starts having a thick beard and they start having the cry of war beard, well, then the people in charge know they have a problem and they'll know the, the people of our nation are not messing around. And so this is Catholic Dad sporting a war beard. I'm signing off. But the things that you do, what you need to do right now is you gotta get the mass, you gotta pray the daily rosary, you gotta get the confession. But this is Lent, people. We're going into the desert right now. You should be there. And you're at war with yourself. You're at war with the forces of evil. And so uh, maintain your basic integrity, your dignity, and uh, just work on your fortitude and your courage. I don't know if a beard helps. I feel like it does for some reason. I don't know why. And, um, and wear it and wear it with pride. And um, I might get it trimmed. I don't know. It's getting a little bit ugly, but that's okay. I don't care. I'm wearing my war beard. That's what I'm going to do. 
and um, join me in solidarity. So this is Catholic Dad Warbeard signing off. Uh, God bless you all, and um, please stand for each other in solidarity in this nation. It's going to need you guys loving each other. Thank you. God bless you all.